in this session we will walk you through a practical example of how to reconcile your records with a supplier statement so we will start by reviewing our internal invoice list then we will compare it against the supplier's record you will learn how to quickly spot missing invoice mismatched amount discrepancies that need attention so this process is very crucial for maintaining accurate financials avoiding duplicate payments and building trust with your vendors so let's dive in and get your reconciliation process running smoothly so if you are new to my channel please subscribe like the video and do comment let us start so first of all we will check what data we have so uh, we have our account statement over here in a separate sheet and you can see the amount is in minus sign because this is the supplier's statement in our books of account which we need to pay so that is why it is in the credit and credit amount will be reflect in the minus sign and this is the supplier's account statement this is a positive number because it is a debit balance in the books of suppliers accounts so make sure you have correct numbers and correct signs before you start reconciling so first of all we have to do the sum to find out how much outstanding amount supplier is asking for us for this we will use the sum function of the excel press enter and now we will copy come to the reconciliation statement and this is the reconciliation statement i will explain each and every line so here we have given the reference of the total for this you can simply go to the paste special click over here and here is a option paste link just click over here so we can see supplier account statement and d28 so the balance will come automatically over here the same rule we will apply to our books of accounts but here we will do the sum by using some advanced techniques so come to our account statement select any cell come to the insert tab click on table and select my table has header and the range of this complete table will be taken by the excel automatically just click on it so that becomes the official table in the excel so you can define the name of the table let's say our account statement and press enter so now whenever we add or delete any data some of this amount will be reflected automatically so now come to the reconciliation let me show you how we can achieve that now type the function sum by starting equal sign and press tab now come to this statement and put your cursor on the amount you will see a down arrow key just click on it and close the bracket and press enter so now we are receiving the sum the similar rule we can apply to the supplier account statement as well but this is just a demo for you this is the advanced technique for getting the sum so whenever we add any data so let's say our reconciliation we can see 97 250 is the sum so if i add or less any number from here so that will reflect automatically so this is the benefit of using this advanced technique so i deleted that data so now my task is to find out the matched invoices which we have already posted in our account statement but it is not yet paid so it is still outstanding so for this we can use lookup function so i will use the latest one instead of vlookup we will use xlookup so here i will use uh, amount as per supplier and then difference if any and the remarks so when you start typing the headings and when you press tab or enter you can see the complete column will be added automatically so this is the benefit of using the official table format of the excel so now i will use xlookup uh, i'm going to convert this table in the official table as well and here i will supplier so that would be easy for me for getting the data 
so i will start by typing x lookup the, then invoice comma come to the supplier statement and i will select the invoice number column comma so what is the data we want to retrieve in this case it is amount so put your cursor over the amount column you will see a down arrow key just select that one and close the bracket and press enter now you will see the magic the all all formula will be copied in the remaining cells automatically so this is the benefit of using the official table now i want to diff calculate the difference of the amount and you can see we got the differences in three invoices so we have to find out what is the reason of that it can be a difference due to shortage of material or maybe the rejection of the material or maybe we as a recipient of the invoice has line rejection line rejection means whenever the material issued to the floor for using in their production system so that material may get rejected by the quality department so that is called line rejection it means we receive the material against a particular invoice and we already paid but later on that material got rejected so we can issue a debit note to the supplier if we have this kind of contract with the supplier so because we have debited their account but not that particular debit note is not received or maybe not entered by the supplier so that that could be a reason for difference so that we have to identify so right now i have identified that these all invoices which we have entered are posted in our account also available in the supplier's account statement but three invoices having the differences so we have to just copy uh, one by one in the reconciliation statement so i'm going to copy just select any cell then press control from the keyboard click on this cell and another cell and then control c to copy the data come to the reconciliation part and this will come in the less part and we have to paste as a value and then we have to put the remarks over here or we can insert a particular column to enter the remarks now we have done the reconciliation and compared our statement with the supplier statement now we will compare suppliers statement with our statement for this as well we will enter so we have to enter the heading so amount as per our books then difference and then remarks if any for this also we will use x lookup function so i will select lookup value then comma come to our statement i will select invoices column and the amount column closing the bracket press enter and now i need to identify the differences if any so as we know that these are the differences which we already identified and these are the invoices not booked in our account statement so i need to copy and then i need to add away change the function so 300 is the difference right now so the i will check my function or formula i need to include that 300 as well so now there is no difference so these are the invoices which we need to book the sum the subtotal of these amount are coming over here and i need to convert in the minus sign as this will be the credit amount in our books of accounts and these are the differences which we need to which we have deducted already so supplier has to book or we need to take decision after discussing with the supplier so these are the differences we have identified and now we can see i have used subtotal over here so this is the sum so this is the reference and this is the final adjustment so press f2 to see the sum so d3 plus d13 and minus the amount we need to deduct that is in the d22 and this is the balance as per the suppliers books of accounts and now the difference is nil so we have identified what is the reason what are the invoices which are the reason of differences 
so this is how you can do the account reconciliation manually later on you need to just replace this invoices maybe after six months and all reconciliation will be done automatically but you have to copy paste the differences in this account statement so this is how you can do the reconciliation if you have any query just let me know in the comment box thanks for watching subscribe my channel please come back again for such wonderful videos thank you friends